Hi everybody, welcome to Simply Scuba. In today's video, I'm gonna be taking a closer look at the QB 1.6 mil dry gloves. So these are about as thin as you can get as far as dry glove membranes. So if you want maximum dexterity, then this is really the way to go. The material itself, 1.6 millimeters thick, as expected. Um, so you can still feel what you're doing, but they're, they're not too clunky or heavy. They're still gonna keep your hands dry, but it's really what you're wearing underneath is what's gonna be keeping them warm. Let's see what actually turns up at your front door. So this is how they arrive uh, in a paper bag, very eco-friendly, um, nothing too exciting on the bag. On the inside, you get a pair of gloves themselves. Uh, so the gloves, very thin, uh, sort of fairly tough membrane actually. So if you want maximum dexterity, something like this is the way to go. Um, on the palm, if I actually just pop one on just so you can see. So on the palms, you actually have some detailing. This is giving you a little bit of extra grip uh, and that continues on the thumb, down the fingers. Uh, it's actually on each of, the, um, of your fingernails for some reason. Uh, I don't know why it will be there, but Still, uh, it just adds to the uh, sort of reinforcing of the gloves and fairly long cuff as well, so you can get them to the perfect size. Around the wrist, you actually have the size printed on there. Uh, these are a size large. I normally take a size large glove, but I'd actually struggle to get much underneath this. Uh, if I was wearing a, a thicker glove um, or an undersuit glove, then I'd probably wanna go up a size um, or even with my standard glove liner, I'd probably go up a size to be honest, um, just so there was some extra, uh, extra space. On the inside of the glove, it's uh, it's lightly flocked, so uh, it's quite soft and, uh, and sort of comfortable, even if you're not wearing anything underneath it. And on the edge, you actually have this bead, which helps protect that edge. So if you do cut that off, you're running the risk of splitting the entire glove. It also acts as quite a nice stopper as well. If you're using it right up to the, um, to the rings, then um, it's not gonna pull through. But otherwise, yeah, a good pair of, uh, of dry gloves and very nice and thin, so you have plenty of dexterity, so you can actually feel what you're doing in the water. And those are the QB 1.6 mil dry gloves, very thin membrane, nothing too fancy, uh, just something to keep your hands dry. They should work with pretty much any ring system you've got plenty of material to work with there's going to be more information on our website simply scuba.com just click on the link down in the description below so you can check them out thank you for watching and of course safe diving mm -hmm.